MGA Thermal is an Australian manufacturing company which makes a clean energy product which helps industry decarbonize and reduce their emissions. They called it a carbon alloy battery, but it was unlike anything the world had seen. No wires, no liquid chemicals, just dense black blocks, silent and solid, holding more than just heat. Inside, metal and graphite work together in a quiet kind of alchemy. This is an MGA block which is our purpose-engineered material designed to store large amounts of heat. Storing thermal energy not for cars or phones, but for the machines that shape our world. Steel, glass, cement, industries powered by flame for centuries. This was meant to replace that flame. Then the prototype ignited, a blaze that nearly ended everything. But from that fire came something stronger, something ready. Let's dive in. The spark. Where it all began. It didn't start in a boardroom. It started in a lab. Quiet, cluttered, and far from the headlines. At the University of Newcastle in Australia, a group of researchers was working with metals. Not to build machines, but to understand them. They were studying how different metal alloys behaved under extreme heat. Not for fame, not for funding, just curiosity. That's where they found it. A strange blend of metals that wouldn't fully mix, no matter how hot they got. Most engineers would see that as a flaw. These researchers saw something else. A miscibility gap. A line the metals refused to cross. And in that line, they found a way to store heat, far more than anyone expected. When a substance melts, it doesn't get hotter. Not right away. Instead, all the energy goes into the transformation, from solid to liquid. That hidden thermal potential is called latent heat, and it's powerful. By embedding these metals inside a graphite block, the team created something new, a battery that didn't store electricity but Heat. Deep, steady, and in clean. The graphite gave structure and safety. The metal did the work. At first, it looked unremarkable. Just a dark brick. But it could hold energy for days. It could be charged with solar or wind power. And when needed, it could release that energy as steam. On demand. With no flames. No smoke. They had something something that could quietly rewrite how industry stays warm. No one noticed yet, but soon they would. The secret core, what makes MGA different? At the center of everything is the block. It's not flashy. It looks like a black brick, dense and heavy, about the size of a shoebox. But inside it, something extraordinary happens. The heart of this block is MGA, Mobility Gap Alloy. A custom blend of metals, crafted so that they never fully combine. Instead, as the temperature rises, part of the alloy melts while the rest stays solid. This strange behavior unlocks latent heat storage, vast amounts of energy absorbed during the melting phase without the block itself falling apart. But MGA isn't just metal. It's surrounded by graphite, a natural material that can handle temperatures up to 3,000 degree pows without breaking down. The graphite holds the metal like a muffin holds melted chocolate chunks. It keeps its shape, its structure, its strength, even while the metal inside flows and shifts. That combination, fluid heat inside a stable form, is what makes MGA so special. And there's something more conductivity. The block doesn't just store heat. It moves it. Fast. Evenly. That means every inch of it can be charged or discharged with efficiency. No hot spots. No cold patches. Just controlled, predictable power. Other systems might store heat with molten salts or bricks, but none do what this alloy does. None changes state so precisely. None holds their shape so elegantly. 
This isn't just a battery. It's a new way of thinking about energy. A battery that doesn't glow or hum. It just holds quietly until the world needs it. The fire, MGA's day of reckoning. It happened fast, too fast. The demo system was nearly complete. Years of work, metal blended, graphite cast, blocks stacked in rows like silent sentinels. The team wanted to speed up production, build bricks faster, and bring the future closer. But they made one mistake. They tried to form the blocks inside the thermal unit itself instead of using their external kiln. It wasn't part of the plan, and it wasn't safe. As the blocks solidified, they began to release heat. More than anyone had predicted. Temperatures started climbing. Sensors blinked warnings. And then came the fire. The heat surged past 1,200 degrees. Flames reached deep into the system. It wasn't just an electrical fire. It was structural, metal against metal, heat building on heat. A gas explosion loomed. In desperation, they called for bulk CO2 tankers from Sydney. They drove for two hours while the team held their breath. For days, they battled the heat. No sleep, no guarantees. The battery that was meant to store energy safely had become a furnace, the kind that consumes everything. Outside, no one knew what was happening. Inside, the people who had built this system watched their work unravel. Not just equipment, not just investment, belief, pride. Years of careful, steady progress turned to smoke. Some thought it was over, that MGA Thermal would shut down. A cautionary tale, another failed energy startup. But what happened next was different. Now first, like always, be sure to hit the like button down below. It helps us out tremendously with the reach of this video. Thank you. The recovery, learning from the ashes. When the flames finally died down, they were left with silence. Not just the quiet of a burnt out machine, but of shaken voices, unanswered emails, and long stares into what was nearly lost. The fire had damaged more than the hardware, it cracked something deeper. Trust. Momentum. The belief that they had everything under control. But MGA Thermal didn't fold. In the weeks after, the team turned inward. They pored over every second of sensor data, every material sample, every decision that led to that moment. They weren't just asking what went wrong. They were asking why they ever thought it wouldn't. The answer was humility. They had been chasing speed, trying to produce bricks faster, cheaper, more efficiently. But innovation doesn't like shortcuts. The chemistry was sound, but the process was flawed. So they changed both. The alloy was quietly adjusted for more thermal stability. The system architecture was rethought. The dangerous idea of forming bricks inside the storage unit was abandoned entirely. A dedicated kiln was brought in. Slower, yes, but reliable. 100 blocks a day. Measured. Controlled. The fire became their reset button. Investors didn't walk. Engineers didn't leave. Instead, they built a safer system. One that didn't just store heat, but earned back trust. There were no press releases, no headlines, just a slow, steady rhythm of work. A kind of engineering grief turned into focus. And when the new unit powered up, it held, solid, silent, waiting for its second chance. The new system, the rebirth. Out in the field, just beyond the scars of the fire, a new shape rose. Not sleek or futuristic, just a squat, boxy container filled with rows of graphite blocks. Nearly 3,700 of them, each one a silent witness to what came before. 
Together, they made up MGA Thermal's new pilot plant, a 5 megawatt hour, 500 kilowatt system. On paper, it was impressive. In practice, it was something more, a second chance. Each block, roughly the size of a shoebox and weighing six kilograms, stored just over one kilowatt hour of energy. That might not sound like much until you realize how fast it can be filled, how long it can last, and how much heat it can deliver. Up to 48 hours of stored energy. Modular, stackable, scalable. Charging the system is simple in concept. Renewable electricity, solar, wind, is passed through resistive heaters that warm the blocks. The heat is stored deep inside, thanks to that strange alloy blend. When it's time to use the energy, nitrogen gas flows through the unit, pulling heat into a steam generator. The result? Industrial-grade steam. Clean. On-demand. Perfect for sectors that still rely on fossil-fired boilers. And it's not just heat. In theory, the steam can power turbines and generate electricity. Less efficient, yes, but possible. That flexibility matters. In a grid full of unpredictable renewables, being useful in more than one way makes you harder to ignore. MGA wasn't just back. It was working, quietly, persistently. And for the first time, people outside the company began to notice. The weight of reality. Limits and friction. Every breakthrough casts a shadow. And for MGA Thermal, that shadow is reality. The technology is promising, but scaling it is something else entirely. Right now, their brick production relies on a single kiln, turning out around 100 blocks per day. That's fine for a pilot plant, but a commercial scale facility would require tens of thousands. The infrastructure to build that many simply doesn't exist yet. It would have to be created by them. And then there's the question of cost. The materials in MGA's blocks aren't exotic, but the engineering is. High thermal conductivity, repeatable phase changes, and structural stability. None of that comes cheap. MGA claims its system can outcompete gas boilers in terms of the levelized cost of heat. But margins are tight. A different set of assumptions, a shift in energy prices, and the math might not favor them. Even efficiency has its limits. While heat storage is nearly lossless, converting that heat back into electricity sees round-trip efficiency plummet to around 35%. Great for heat, less so for power. Finally, there's memory. The memory of the fire. One incident, even resolved, lingers in boardrooms and funding meetings. Still, they move forward. Not with noise, but with persistence. That, more than anything, may be their advantage. The demo plant is only the beginning. Behind closed doors, MGA Thermal is working on something bigger. A 180 megawatt hour facility still early, still uncertain, but in motion. At a minerals processing site, they've already helped reduce annual steam demand by 13%, simply by turning heat on and off when it's needed. That kind of control matters. The road ahead is slow, but steady. There will be setbacks. There will be doubt. But for the first time, there's also belief. Because this isn't just about storing heat. It's about storing time, stability, and a future without fire. And it's already begun.